If x plus y is equal to 5 and x times y is equal to 50, find the value of x and y. So given from x plus y is equal to 5, we can find the value of x. So x is equal to 5 minus y. And from x times y, let's put the value of x from here in this equation. So x times y is equal to 50 and x is 5 minus y. So 5 minus y times y is equal to 50 or 5y minus y square is equal to 50 or we can write minus y square plus 5y minus 50 is equal to 0. If we multiply both the sides by minus then we have y square minus 5y plus 50 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation. We can find the value of y using the quadratic equation formula where y is equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac under square root upon 2a where a here is the coefficient of y square that is 1 b here is coefficient of y that is minus 5 and c here is 50 so y is equal to minus minus 5 plus minus b square so minus 5 square minus 4 times 50 times 1 upon 2a so 2 times 1 or y is equal to minus minus plus so 5 plus minus 25 minus 200 upon 2 or y is equal to 5 plus minus minus 175 under square root upon 2 or we can write it as 5 plus minus 175 under square root times minus 1 under square root upon 2 or y is equal to 5 plus minus 175 under square root 25 times 7 under square root and minus 1 under square root is an imaginary unit so we write i for it upon 2 or it is equal to 5 plus minus 5 times square root of 7 i upon 2 so two values for y are when 5 plus 5 times square root of 7 i upon 2 and second value for y is 5 minus 5 times square root of 7 i upon 2. Now when y is 5 plus 5 times square root of 7 i upon 2 then x is equal to 5 minus 5 plus 5 times square root of 7 i upon 2 or x is equal to 10 minus 5 plus 5 times square root of 7 i upon 2 here it will be minus or x is equal to 5 minus 5 times square root of 7 i upon 2. So when y is 5 plus 5 times square root of 7 i then x is 5 minus 5 times square root of 7 i same then y is when y is 5 minus 5 times square root of 7 i x will be 5 minus 5 minus 5 times square root of 7 i upon 2 or x2 is equal to 10 minus 5 plus 5 times square root of 7 i upon 2 or x2 is equal to 5 plus 5 times square root of 7 i upon 2. So value of x and y are 5 plus 5 times square root of 7 i upon 2 and 5 minus 5 plus 5 minus square root of 7 i upon 2 and 5 minus 5 times square root of 7 i upon 2 or 5 plus 5 times square root of 7 i upon 2. Now let's verify these answers when x is 5 plus 5 times square root of 7 i upon 2 y is 5 minus 5 times square root of 7 i upon 2 so x plus y 
will be 5 plus 5 times square root of 7i plus 5 minus 5 times square root of 7i upon 2. This should be equal to 5. This plus minus gets cancelled. 5 plus 5 is 10 upon 2. 2 times 5 is 10. So 5 is equal to 5. LHS is equal to RHS. Now x times y should be equal to 50. So 5 plus 5 times square root of 7i upon 2 times 5 minus 5 times square root of 7i upon 2. This should be equal to 50. Now this is in the form of now if we write it as 5 upon 2 plus 5 times square root of 7i upon 2 and then 5 upon 2 minus 5 times square root of 7i upon 2 is equal to 50. This is in the form of a plus b times a minus b. So in the form of differences of square so we write a square minus b square. So we can write it as 5 upon 2 square minus 5 times square root of 7i upon 2 square or it is 25 upon 4 minus 5 square is 25 square root of 7 square will be 7 square root gets removed with this square and then i square upon 4 or it is 4 the common denominator 25 minus 25 times 7 is 175 and i square is negative so it will be minus 175 or it is equal to 25 plus 175 is 200 upon 4 check whether these is equal to 50 400 times 50 is 200 so LHS is equal to RHS therefore this is the correct answer how did you solve it let me know in the comment section thanks for watching